All right, let's see if these bees are ready for a new queen. Uh, there's a there's a queen in this uh, in this cage. I'm just gonna plonk her down right there. Now it looks like the bees are they're trying to reach the queen in the cage and it looks like they're trying to feed her. So if they were trying to sting her or attack her, I think you would see their bodies all bent with their stingers sticking in through the mesh. But it looks like see what I, I can see right now they're they're exchanging fluids between each other, so I think one of them has gone in there, tasted the queen, and then they're all going to just spread that pheromone around and get used to the new queen. <clears throat> my guess. Now let's see. I'll see if they're in attack mode, then it'll be hard to remove the bees. No. They're just totally chilled out. They're not trying to sting me. They like the queen. They're definitely attracted to the queen, but they're not trying to attack her. So, that means they're ready for a queen. If they were trying to attack the queen, then it means that they haven't gone long enough without a queen, and they're not ready to accept a queen. And, or it means that in the time that they were queenless, they began to create supersedure cells. And, which is a queen cell, and a supersedure cell or a queen cell is just as good as a queen, and they would be killing this queen or trying to kill this queen otherwise. So, I'm gonna give them a queen. Now, I don't have my hive tool, so I'm gonna have to just use my fingers. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. I'm just gonna make sure that the I put them on a frame of brood, not a frame of honey. I can't see what I'm doing. That sweat. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they're good. Okay. Let's see. Can we see that cage? There it is. So I'll come back in a few days, and if they haven't eaten through that candy, I'll just manually release the queen. You can see already there's one of them already starting to lick the candy away. And that's how you requeen a hive. <laughs>